In this video, we are going to learn how to trim eyebrows in Photoshop. You see, more often than not, ladies, aka females, are usually amazing and awesome at keeping their eyebrows in shape. But there can be exceptions and that's perfectly fine. Maybe they didn't reshape their eyebrows for a week. Maybe you clicked a candid and the model is not ready. And maybe they left a hair or two. Anything can happen. And at that point of time, you can always call Photoshop into rescue. But here's the thing. Do it only if the client wants it and I reiterate do it only if the clients want their eyebrows to be reshaped so this tutorial is divided into three pretty sections and in the first section we're gonna look at an eyebrow that's already sh shaped but there are a couple of hairs and a couple of little tiny hairs and furry kind of things that we need to retouch and bring back in shape and that's kind of very easy and fun to do in the second example we're gonna go a little more extreme where we might have to edit and retouch one single hair at a time it's gonna be fun and the third example is pretty amusing because in the third example we are not removing eyebrows but we have to grow back eyebrows so I'm pretty excited and I hope you are too so without any further ado let's get started in three two So here we are in Photoshop and before we jump straight in, a very big thank you to Andres Vargas for sending over this image for use in my tutorials. Thanks a lot Andres and if you want to check out more of his work, go ahead and check it out right here in Instagram. He has got some really beautiful images so let's jump straight in. Alright, let's look at the eyebrows. Her eyebrows seem to be a little bit in shape but if you have a close look, let's have a close look. There are a couple of hairs that we need to take care of. Have a look here right so we need to take care of that so to do that all you have to do select the lasso tool all right now in this point I would like to say that if you have a tablet awesome better than good and better than most but if you don't have a tablet that shouldn't be an excuse for you to not do retouching not having great results because I currently am using a mouse just to show you that purchase doesn't matter it comes by practice not by purchase but here's what I would say don't do this on a trackpad, please. That's that's not possible. That's the least you have to buy. You have to buy a mouse and that's pretty cheap. If you convert this to dollars, I bought it for 200 rupees or $5 maybe. Not uh, less than $5, maybe $4 something. All right, so uh, look at the eyebrows and there are a couple of hairs that we need to take care of. So all you need to do, select the lasso tool and perpendicular to the eyebrow, you have to draw a line, all right? so. Let's draw a line perpendicular to this. You need to be very careful with your mouse if you're using a mouse. There you go. Very careful. There you go. Now take a loop back and join it. Now we need to add a little bit of feather to it. So the problem with feather is when you add feather you cannot see how much of softness is added. So here's what we will do. Press Q. This takes you into quick mask mode. Now, the areas that are red are not selected. The areas that are not red are selected. Now, all you have to do, you have to add a Gaussian blur to this. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Give it a little blur. It depends totally, I cannot tell you the value because it depends totally upon your image, your resolution and a lot of other stuff. What are the shape of eyebrows and stuff, uh, how the eyebrow is getting merged with the skin. So. You can see the transition is this long, so I would add a blur of maybe 6. Pretty good, okay. Now, once you're done with it, press Q again and this returns into a selection. Now the selection is smooth. Now all you need to do, press Ctrl J. What this does is that, have a look, this creates a duplicate of only that part of that layer. Now all you have to do, move this part over the eyebrow. There you go. Isn't this beautiful? Now have a look. Look at the before and after. This, this is the before, this is the after. Our eyebrows are in shape. So that's pretty good. Let's adjust it just a little bit using the arrow keys. Pretty awesome. Now you might want to rub the extra areas. If it's not matching, you can always add a mask and take the brush, make sure black is selected, press X to toggle between foreground and background colors this toggles. Also, if the foreground color is something else, you can always press the shortcut key D to return it to black and white and you can always press X and toggle between them. Alright, so let's press X and make sure it's black and you can paint in the extra areas. This makes the selection more smooth. Alright, there you go. Now, 
Let's look at the bottom of the eyebrow. Now we need to take care of this one. We'll do the same thing. Take the lasso tool, return to the background layer. Don't forget to do that. Return to the background layer or the layer in which you have the, your subject installed in. All right, so create a perpendicular drawing and this kind of be difficult for people who are who suck at drawing and I also suck at drawing you know that right all you have to do you have to practice a little bit and if you have if you can buy a tablet better than good better than most oops I know that's bad but <laughs> that's all I could do all right what to do press Q Add Gaussian Blur. Now this time you don't have to again go to Gaussian Blur, Filter Blur, Gaussian blur, blur and select the values because you have already set the value to 6. So this time, Filter, Gaussian Blur, that's it. Okay, if you can remember the shortcut, that's also fine. If you're using CC 2015.5 and above, the shortcut is Control Alt F. If any version before that, it's Control F. So, Q again, Control J. Now let's move this area to this. There you go. There you go. It's pretty good. Awesome. Now, add a mask and we might want to rub a little area around here. There you go. To make it a little more soft. There you go. Look, looks pretty good. Awesome, isn't it? All right. So we might... Looks good. Awesome. Now, let's look at the before and after. Let's group both of them. To group both of them, select one, press and hold control or come out if you're using a Mac, select the second one, Control G. There you have it. Let's look at the before, after. It makes so much more difference. Let's have a closer look, all right? Let's have a closer look. So this is the before, this is the after. So much more better. Now do the same for the right eyebrow. I'm not gonna bore you with this. You can do it yourself, okay? So let's move on to the next image and this image is pretty exciting. In this example, as you can see, her eyebrows are pretty coarse and it's pretty evident that she didn't reshape her eyebrows before the shoot. So we have to fix that in Photoshop, only if she wants it. But since she didn't say anything, I'm, I'm, anyway, I'm gonna do it. Alright, so, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to remove the upper extra hairs. So for that, we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the first example. Pro tip, let me give you a pro tip. The pro tip is, our hands are pretty much made to go this way, to go straight. It's easier for us to draw straight lines like this, to straight horizontal lines. So let me show you what I mean. If I take a brush and if I draw this line, it's gonna be much easier. But if I have to draw something like this, it's not gonna be that easy. If I have to draw something like this, it's not gonna be that easy. So to draw better, why not rotate the view? And to rotate the view, press R. This loads up the rotate view tool and let's rotate it just a little bit. Let's zoom out and let me show you what actually has happened. Now, you might think the image has been rotated but that's not the case. The view has been rotated and you can always reset that back. Now let's zoom back in. And now, do the same thing we did in the first example. Select the lasso tool and Select, make a selection just perpendicular to the eyebrow. And at this point, if you had a graphic tablet, amazing. It would have, it would have worked wonders. But for the mouse, it's going to be difficult. But that should never be an excuse for you to not have amazing results. It will take time, but of course. There you go. Now that's a good one. Okay, press Q. Filter, Gaussian Blur, okay? Or you can always go ahead and select the values manually. Otherwise, it will use the previous values. So it uses the value of six. And this time, I think I will go a little higher. Maybe seven. All right. Now press Q again, Control J, or Command J if you're using a Mac. Then let's drag it down. Let's see how it looks. It looks much more better. Have a look at the before and after. So this is before, this is the after. So we might want to take it a little upwards. There you go. Looking better. Now, as you can see, there's a pattern kind of thing and we don't want that. It's looking strange over here. So we might create a mask. Okay. And select the brush, make sure black is selected and the foreground color. Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background and just paint over. There you go. There you go. Paint with white over the areas that you accidentally painted black or accidentally removed. There you go. Now, you might want to flatten the layer at this point because we will do further retouching here. So before flattening, let's make sure the position is okay. All right, the position is fine. 
Now let's flatten up the layers. Before flattening, let's retouch this eyebrow. Now you might think it's going to be a little difficult to do that, but it, trust me guys, it's going to be very easy if you use that technique. So select this lasso tool and select an area perpendicular to that. Okay. Doesn't matter. Select the hair. Doesn't matter. Press Q. Make sure the background image is selected. Okay. The background layer or the layer in which you have the subject. Q. Then Gaussian blur. There you go. Q again. Control J. Now Control T and let's use the arrow keys to do the transformation to move the eyebrow layer to move that patch. Now let's line this up with the hair above it. So all you have to do, you have to make sure that it lines up and that's pretty much it. And you'll have no problem in making it look real. All right. So that's pretty good. Awesome. Let's have a look pretty much shaped. Now you can always go ahead and erase some areas if you want to add a mask. You can erase some areas which kind of look strange. S make sure you select black and you can erase certain areas. That's pretty good. Awesome. Now all we need to do, we need to flatten all this up. And instead of flattening all this up, instead of flattening all the layers, let's create a new layer. After creating a new layer, press Alt, Control, Shift and E. Okay, this merges everything and creates a new layer. Okay, if you're using a Mac, it's Option, Command, Shift and E. Okay, now there are some hairs that we, extra hairs that we might want to remove. But here's the thing, you cannot use the same technique here. Why? Because the colors are shifting. Watch, she has applied eye shadows unlike that image. So we might have to use three tools. There are three tools in our inventory. The spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, and the clone stamp tool and even the patch tool sometimes. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, let's try the spot healing brush tool and let's try removing these hairs, these stray hairs. So let's try and it's doing a pretty good job, not bad, but it's blurring areas here. So we might want to use the healing brush tool and what the healing brush tool does is that it takes samples from samples from a particular area that you define and then replaces the target area with that sample. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? If not, watch. Now, suppose I want to re replace this area of the hair with this particular area. All you have to do, press and hold Alter Option and click on this area that you want to replace this area with. Click on this area and watch. The cursor, the brush shows you the sample it's going to be replaced with. So let's paint. Pretty good. Let's target this area. Uh, let's sample this area. Let's replace it with that. Let's make the brush a little smaller. Let's do this, place that. Oh, it's, see, watch, it's smearing, it's smearing. And when it smears, change the tool, change the tool to clone stem tool. Now, now here's a tip <laughs> to avoid smearing. What you can do using the clone stem tool, you can cut off the areas from the source. Watch this. So if I take a sample from here, just cut off. Keep that like an island, just cut that off, okay? And then you can remove it either using the patch tool, spot healing brush tool or anything very easily. Because using clone stamp on all of them is going to be a little difficult. Just cut off hairs. That's all, that's all, that's all you have to do. Now, now once the hairs are cut off, you can select the patch tool and select the hair area and replace it with this area. Gone. Amazing, isn't it? Select the patch tool, select this area and make sure you have normal selected content aware also works sometimes. There you go. There you go. Gone. And these island hairs, anything that's island-ish, you can easily remove using the patch tool. There you go. So we have done a pretty good job. Let's look at the before and after. Oops, something strange happened. So. So this is the before. Let's group all of them together so that we can look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. Have a look. So much of difference we have made. Also, what we can do, we can remove these hairs, which are here. So we can select these are island hairs. OK, anything which is island ish. Remove it by using the patch tool there. There you go. Gone. OK. These are the hairs that you would like to remove. So let's try. Let's try using the patch tool, removing it in one go. Let's see, it's, it's, it's done a pretty good job and we need to clean things up with it, but it's done a really good job. Let's select the healing brush tool and let's sample this area. Let's paint over certain areas. 
There you go. Let's look at the before and after. Let's see how it looks. It's pretty clean, neat, isn't it? So this is the before, this is the after. So much more cleaner. And you can do the same with the similar, the right eyebrow. It's gonna be a little difficult, it's gonna be a little sticky, but you can do it as I shown. Now, you, you don't have to do it, I think. It's pretty good, pretty clean. You can do it with these hairs, but that's pretty okay. All right, let's move on to the next example. The third example is pretty amusing and fun to retouch. Let's have a look. This has a problem. We need to grow back eyebrows. And what are the ways of growing back something in Photoshop? We need to have a sample of something. We either need to have a brush or we need to have another eyebrow. And in this case, we have an eyebrow and we can replace this eyebrow with that one, okay? So we can also just replace that particular section. So what we will do is that we'll select our lasso tool, okay? And select a part of the eyebrow that we need to replace and be very careful with this one, okay? And then Control J. Now, Control T, okay, Command T if you're using a Mac. Now, we need to flip it and place it over here. To flip it, right click on it and flip horizontal. Now, let's move it and place it over this one until it matches. You might have to rotate it just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Let's see whether it's matching. It's pretty matching and we need to bring it a little closer. Okay, fine. Now you might have to warp it just a little bit. Right click on it and select warp. And let's match the eyebrow to this one. Make it a little thinner, smaller. There you go. Press enter once you're done. Now the edges as you can see are very harsh. We need to make them soft. To make them soft, create a mask. Select the brush and make sure black is selected. If it's not, press X if black is the background color. Press X to bring it back to the foreground color and your background at foreground color if it's not black and white. Press D, remember? Now, paint over the areas with a soft brush. Paint over the edges. Make sure the flow is a little lower so that you'll have a much smoother result. Because if the flow is low, you might have to paint a couple of times to make it completely transparent. All right, so there you go. All right, this is so much more better. Let's have a look. So this is the before. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Makes so much more difference. So that's pretty much it for this video. But before we wrap up, I've got three eternal warnings to give you to apply those trimming techniques. Number one, you can, obviously, you can of course apply the trimming thing on male portraits. But here's the thing, if you want them to look girly. Number two, before applying the trimming on the top of the eyebrows that we did, we selected the part of the forehead and we replaced the area of the eyebrow with that. Make sure that you remove all the blemishes, all the artifacts, all the scars and everything before you do that technique. Number three, and this is the most essential. If you are currently thinking of posting something hateful in the comments below, I just want to let you know that I love you no matter what. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.